An active weather pattern is setting up across the United States, and this is going to bring the potential for several showers and thunderstorms from Texas all the way back into the Ohio Valley and Northeast over the next few days. In addition to that, we are going to be dealing with a big cool down across the Ohio Valley and the Midwest, where there will be the potential for some frost as we go into Saturday. In addition to that, we're going to be watching for the threat of a water spout outbreak Friday night into Saturday across parts of the Great Lakes. So let's begin with with what's happening across the United States right now and overall the weather is still relatively quiet for most of the country. The Ohio Valley and Northeast do remain at least quiet for now until we start to see some more moisture and showers and thunderstorms as we go into Friday. But for the time being, enjoy the weather. It should be a nice day overall for most of those areas. One area that's been dealing with a very active stretch of weather has been the East Coast, really from Virginia back into parts of the Gulf Coast where we've had plenty of showers and thunderstorms. We still do have a little disturbance sitting just south of Louisiana that's still trying to spin, trying to become some sort of tropical system, but it has struggled. Overall, it's been mostly just rain across the Texas and Louisiana coast, and a lot of that moisture is beginning to move to the east towards areas like Florida and Georgia, where we are going to continue to see the potential for several inches of rainfall over the next several days. Overall, for the Caribbean Sea and the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, it does remain quiet for now. We are still monitoring, though, the potential for some sort of tropical storm to develop over over the next seven days, which we'll talk more about later in the forecast. We are going to be talking about several different storms in this forecast, but I want to bring your attention to the main one that we're going to be talking about, which is the storm that's going to be impacting areas like the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, the Northeast, and the Mid-Atlantic region as we go throughout the rest of this week into the weekend. And this is going to be a deepening trough that's going to move across the Great Lakes. And the reason why this is so important is because this cold temperature area aloft with very cold Arctic air basically well off the ground is going to mix in with the very warm lakes that we have. Both Lake Michigan and Lake Erie are quite warm lakes right now. In addition to that, we're going to have showers and a little bit of spin, and that's going to create the potential for water spouts across the Great Lakes as we go into Friday. I think really the main time frame will be Friday night to Saturday morning, but we could still see some water spouts outside of that. Now, the good news with this is that water spouts typically do not really go inland, and even if they do, they usually weaken relatively quickly. In this sort of environment, that's what I would expect, but we are going to still have to watch for that a little bit over in parts of like western Michigan for example I think on Saturday morning primarily now this cold air is not just going to produce the potential for water spouts we are going to have a big cool down temperatures will drop into the 30s and 40s Saturday morning for most of the Midwest in the Ohio Valley and eventually that storm will start to move off to the north and east and then temperatures aloft will return back closer to warmer or at least above average for most of the country now here's what we're looking at on the future radar for the next several days to kind of give you an easier perspective to look at here this is what we're looking at for this morning. So again, some showers and storms will continue right along the Gulf Coast. We do have a little area that we're watching east of North Carolina that could develop into a brief tropical depression or storm as that continues to move in the direction of Nova Scotia. We are going to talk more about that again in a few minutes later in the forecast. And then this is the storm that's developing right now. As we go later into today, we're going to see some more showers and even maybe a couple rumbles of thunder in parts of Michigan and back into Canada. This storm is going to intensify and organize more, though, as we go into Friday. Same thing goes, by the way, with the system off the coast of the United States. This could intensify a little bit and perhaps become some sort of brief tropical cyclone. This is what we're looking at Friday afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms lining up from Canada back into the Ohio Valley. I do expect at least a low-end threat for severe weather right along Lake Erie with maybe an isolated tornado threat existing in like northern or northeastern Ohio. And then once we go into Saturday morning, showers and storms continue across the Gulf Coast. Storms will continue across the northeast with mostly rain, but a couple storms mixing in there, especially back over in parts of New York, Pennsylvania, and Maryland during Saturday afternoon. We also could see a yet again another tropical system try to develop up and down the East Coast as we go into Saturday, somewhere near North or South Carolina. Now again, the good news is that any tropical cyclone that develops here will probably not be much more than just rain, but it is something that we'll be watching for. And then once we go into Sunday morning, that little system that'll bring rain and maybe a potential for water spouts to areas like the Great Lakes, will eventually start to move off to the north and east into Canada, and overall the weather begins to get a lot quieter for most of the lower 48. So all in all, we are going to have several different storms across the United States. The good news being that they are going to be mostly within the next four days, and then after that, things will start to quiet down a little bit across most of the country as we go into next week. Now this will not be completely quiet depending on where you are. I think along the Gulf Coast there will still be a lot of moisture down there. High pressure is going to kind of keep a lot of that moisture back down here right along the Gulf Coast. So 
showers and thunderstorms will continue to be a possibility. We could see some eventual development of a tropical cyclone across maybe the Gulf of Mexico, but again, we don't really know where that's going to happen at this point. We'll talk more about the tropics, though, again, in a moment. Temperature anomalies across the country give you an idea of above and below average temperatures near the surface. Overall, that cold air is going to really usher in as we go into Friday uh, afternoon and evening into Saturday morning across the Midwest and as well as back into the Ohio Valley. Once we go into Sunday, that cold air will start to kind of fizzle out a little bit, but it will move into the Northeast. It'll gradually turn into more of just a normal sort of, you know, week next week across Monday and Tuesday where temperatures are right around average again. So this is going to be a relatively quick cool down, but this sort of cold weather that we're going to see as we go into Saturday will be more common as we go later into the fall. We are going to see a lot more of these cold blasts and eventually some Arctic blasts. This sort of temperature anomaly is more consistent with some sort of either strong cold blast or even sometimes an Arctic blast across these areas if we were closer to winter. But right now, we're obviously not that close to winter, so just keep that in mind. Here's what the temperatures are looking like for Saturday morning across the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. Overall, most of the low temperatures are in the 40s. I do expect some upper 30s, though, in northern Wisconsin and parts of the upper Michigan Peninsula. And then once we go into Sunday morning, notice the temperatures quickly are going to climb right back up to the upper 40s and low to mid 50s for most of the Midwest with some low 40s back over in the Appalachian Mountains, back over in West Virginia and Western Virginia. And then temperatures in the Northeast will probably be in the low 50s for low temperatures for Sunday. Now, overall, the Cloud Prediction Center for most of next week is still predicting below average temperatures from about New Jersey back into parts of Texas. This is going to be basically representing the potential for a higher likelihood of below average temperatures. So you're not guaranteed, but it is a higher likelihood overall that you'll see that. And then above average temperatures are expected across much of the northern and central plains and then anywhere near or just west of the Rocky Mountains. Precipitation from Tuesday of next week until Saturday of next week does not look great. Below average precipitation is likely anywhere from about New Mexico back into the northeast, especially back over in the Midwest where not much of any rain is expected, but above average precipitation will continue near the Gulf Coast, and then the Pacific Northwest is expected to remain a little bit more active as well. With all that said, the tropics are beginning to heat up yet again. We have four areas of development, and you might be thinking we got four hurricanes coming, right? Well, not necessarily. These are all low areas of development. We don't have anything beyond a 30% chance right now of development across the Atlantic Basin. The one back over here in the Caribbean was the one that's been talked about the most of becoming this big hurricane or whatever, and right now there's no indication of that as of yet. This is going to be moving across the Yucatan, and then once it goes into the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, I think we'll have to watch this a little bit more closely. And then we also have a tropical wave that is going in the direction of like Florida, for example, but it has a very low chance of development as of right now. And then back over just west of Africa, a large area of development currently. This one is likely not to be any impact to the United States, but it is something we'll watch for. And then one just off the coast of North Carolina does have a low chance of development over the next 48 hours. I do want to also point out we could see a fifth area of development possibly back over in the northwestern Gulf in the next outlook. But as of right now, I think that chance is pretty low. And the reason why I'm talking about the potential for maybe something in the northwestern Gulf is that the HRRR model and several several other convective allowing models have indicated that there could be some development sometime today, but honestly I'm not super positive that this is going to happen. The HRRR model did this the other day and nothing actually developed. It's kind of showing that again where it actually could become something like a tropical storm just south of Louisiana by as early as Friday afternoon. So something to watch for, but we'll have to see what the next HRRR model run shows. If this goes away, I think it's just a false alarm. Arm, but it is something to watch for. If it does develop, I don't expect this to become anything big, but I think more than anything, if we see something develop, it could bring additional inches of rainfall to the Louisiana coast and maybe even the southeastern Texas coast just south and east of Houston. Now, the good news about all the other tropical waves that we're talking about is almost all the ensemble members do not show much of any development as of right now in any of the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Sea, the Atlantic Ocean, very minimal development being depicted by any models right now on this ensemble. Run. So that's good news. Basically, that means that we're not really looking at any major concerns to the United States as of right now. I still think if you are near the Texas coast or Louisiana coast, I would still be mindful of this tropical wave, but I still don't think this can be anything big, at least as of right now, unless something majorly changes over the next few days. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.